Hi everyone, so this is the last pack of the forces. It's only one lesson and it's all about differential equations. So it's separating variables and integrating both sides. But it's quite nice because it starts off with f equals ma. And f equals ma we've only really used with constants so we could do Suvati stuff. But in reality, our acceleration is actually a change in velocity. So because it's a change in velocity, it's a rate of change. Now I can use this to split it up. So I'm going to kind of use separation of variables on my, um, on my equation. So I'm going to get something with a mass dv, something like that. Something like that. That's what we're aiming towards. So it says, let's have a look at this question then. So it says, if a body of mass 4 kilos is initially at rest at the origin and experiences a force of 3t plus 1 newtons. So if you look, my force is a function of t. So that's lovely, it fits in perfectly. Find the velocity and the displacement after 2 seconds. Right then, so my force is a mass times acceleration. So my force is 3t plus 1. The mass is 4 dv dt. If I use my separation of variables that I did on that differentials pack, separation of variables, t is on the left, so I've got 3t plus 1 dt, which I'm going to integrate. And four, lots of dBs on the right, which I'm going to integrate. So that will give me 3t squared over 2 plus t is equal to 4v plus c. Now let's have a look. So initially it's at rest. So when t is 0, v is 0. And if you sub that into that equation, that will give you c is 0. So I know that my velocity, so I've got a 3t squared over 2 plus t is 4v. So I know that my velocity will be 3 over 8t squared plus a quarter of t. So that's my velocity done. So now I want my displacement. So we know that our displacement is an integral of the velocity dt. So my displacement will be... 3 over 8 t squared plus a quarter t dt. So it's going to be, well, that's going to be 3 over 8 t cubed over 3. So that's an eighth t cubed. A quarter t squared over 2. So that's going to be an eighth t squared plus c plus a constant. So initially it's at the origin. So s equals 0, t equals 0. Once again, that will imply that the constant is zero there. So that gives me s is one-eighth of t cubed plus one-eighth of t squared. Now I've done it, I've got, the, um, I've got both of those. But do you know what I haven't done? I've not actually worked them out at two seconds. So for my velocity, well, that's going to be the wrong place, isn't it? There. So for my velocity at two... My velocity is 3 over 8, 2 squared, plus a quarter of 2, which gives me, that's going to be, going to be 2, isn't it? 2 metres per second. And my displacement will be an eighth of 2 cubed, plus an eighth of 2. So the eighth and the 2 cubed is going to be 1. So that's going to be 1 and a quarter, is it? Uh, is it one and a quarter? Oh no, it's t squared, that isn't it? So it's going to be one and a half meters there. So that's quite straightforward. That. That's quite nice, isn't it? Right, I'm going to stop there now because we're running out of time. So I'm back on five minutes. Bye bye.